Thank you for tuning in to the session. My name is Sid Sinha. I am responsible for the product strategy for Oracle Risk Management Cloud. Uh, I've been lucky enough to work with thousands of passionate customers and talented users over the last decade. And uh, they have shaped the app capabilities uh, that I am going to talk about today. In fact, the uh, purpose of the session is to provide a simple introduction uh, to Oracle Risk Management Cloud. And let me start by saying that uh, risk management as a module really helps your ERP move to the cloud to, to be far more transformational. And, and this is because no finance transformation is really complete without an effective system of internal controls. In fact, our mission for Risk Cloud is to modernize controls for every Oracle Cloud ERP customer. And we do this by using the latest data science technology, and that provides assurance across all the major business processes. In addition, a, a key pillar for risk management in terms of our direction is to connect different groups with a shared assurance dashboard that, and, and simple workflows. Um, because internal controls is really a shared responsibility. And, and Risk Cloud is focused on helping each stakeholder to collectively build a more integrated system of internal controls. For example, the procure to pay process owner can certify their financial numbers with far more confidence. In fact, they can, they can look at dashboards that show the results of audit algorithms that crunch data across all the transactions, the setups, the configuration, so that they can prove that their key procure to pay policies uh, were not at risk uh, at any time. So this analysis can run daily and it doesn't sample data, it, it looks at the entire population. And for the internal audit and risk and compliance groups, the, the line two folks, Risk Cloud provides a structured framework and tools, which ultimately gives them the time and space to build deeper uh, relationships with control owners and process leaders, which of course, as you know, is critical in assessing emerging changes uh, and risks to internal controls. Now, to realize these objectives and these goals, we purposefully built risk management right inside ERP and HCM. So it uses the same database, the same user security, the same navigation and same user experience. And uh, it's, it, it's essentially a capability that sits inside ERP and HCM so that you can quickly analyze millions of data points all in one place and then share those results in a secure and safe manner across finance users, IT users, audit, risk management, all in one cloud. These investments uh, have made it possible to challenge what is unfortunately the reality today for many, many organizations. Many internal controls or SOX programs have not really evolved with time and technology only because building these capabilities is hard and expensive. And, and, and our goal is to run continuous data analytics on all the relevant data points, be it transactions, uh, application setups, configurations, uh, uh, and, 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 and security, and so, that you, and, and so that users, you can look at all the users to check if there are red flags or actual policy uh, violations. So if one is able to do so, the benefits are large and real. Uh, it means significantly lower audit fees, as well as more time and, uh, and less reliance on third party partners that provide assurance services. And you can report with a lot more confidence. You report your financial statements with a lot more confidence with, uh, with, uh, with these internal controls in place. It also, uh, it also lowers the expense of handling large amounts of data. There's less time spent uh, massaging and wrangling the data. Uh, so, uh, so our goal is to enable this evolution. And, and what is driving this evolution for internal controls is cloud technology. Cloud technology is making it possible and reasonable to do all of that with a risk audit and control perspective. Uh, the, the economics of managing and processing large data volumes has 
has changed dramatically. Cloud makes it much faster, more reliable, safer, and cheaper to run deep analysis across millions of data points. And, and our goal is essentially to harness this technology to provide a more uh, data-driven, evidence-based system of internal control uh, from uh, from a, the reality of today, which is typically offline and manual. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very uh, laborious uh, assurance activity. And it's, it's a capability that is that is uh, that can be always on and proactive versus something that is episodic or event driven. So the question might be, you know, how does it really happen under the covers and, and behind the scenes, risk management clouds engine does all the all the heavy lifting, ingesting large amounts of data, processing it, preparing it for transaction analysis. And, and the key point here of presenting what looks like a very complex picture is to say that all the complexity is hidden from you, the user, uh, and, and is automated using Risk Cloud. The, the work essentially is already done if you use uh, Risk Management Cloud. And all that data and analysis is managed in a simple risk and controls assurance framework that is tailored to each stakeholder and it provides the the, the context needed to evaluate and act on those results quickly and easily. And, and this is and this is really because Risk Cloud in its DNA has all the necessary COSO and ICFR components all in one system. Yet it is uh, it is modular and you can start using the solution right away. And, and, and you can start using it in terms, and you can measure that in minutes or even hours and, 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 and then adapt your solution based on your journey, your growth and changes that are happening in, in your organization. So then you have an embedded risk and controls assurance application all within Fusion ERP Cloud. And, and it provides all the data analysis across all these ERP modules and, and functionalities and presents the results in simple assurance dashboards for each major process area. Let me give you an example of a customer using this solution, DP World. DP World is a global logistics powerhouse that has deployed Risk Cloud and, and they are now benefiting from the pre-built analysis to the extent that it is their new internal audit standard. In essence, they, are, they have 100% oversight over all their transactions, all their relevant transactions, and, and that has opened a new world for them. So uh, you know, next I wanna show you uh, a recorded demo of uh, what this solution looks like in, in action. So I'm gonna press the play button here. So in this demo, we are going to look at uh, uh, 10 procure to pay controls first by clicking on the risk dashboard. And it's a very simple uh, uh, assurance dashboard uh, with results of the 10 activated procure to pay uh, uh, automated controls. And uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, two related controls. Uh, the first one identifies um, uh, users that have the potential to violate your separation of duty rules, uh, which is the ability to create uh, suppliers and create invoices, which no one individual should should be able to do. And uh, you can also then look at uh, all the historical uh, records each time this analysis was executed. So you know, as you can see, it runs multiple times a day. And for each execution run, it, uh, it, you can see that it scans over four and a half thousand users across 45,000 fusion roles. And so let's look at the, the next related control. This is uh, to do with uh, not just potential, but actual uh, transaction violations. So it scans all the transactions to find actual violations. That is a single person that has actually created a supplier and then created an invoice for that supplier. You can also see that this, this also runs multiple times a day. Uh, 
in uh, in in the in the report that says uh, rec records uh, uh, historical records, and then as you can see, it, it, for each time it runs, it looks at over twenty one thousand invoices across over three hundred sixty three hundred sixty four to be precise number of supplier sites, and 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 essentially this simple dashboard prevents uh, presents a uh, a complete chain of evidence that gives you a high level of assurance that your internal controls are working uh, working effectively. Now, that demo is uh, is but a small slice of all the analysis that's possible. Here's a screenshot from the application that shows you the large library, over, I think it's over 200 controls today and growing, that can be activated across all your major processes. And for each major process, uh, risk management automates the key building blocks for an effective internal control solution. So it starts with user security monitoring, followed by what the users do, user activity monitoring, and then relates them to your uh, risk and controls framework, your risk and controls matrix, and, and associated workflows that are required to assess the controls. So in the next part of this presentation, I'm going to walk you through some of the highlights for each of these building blocks. So first of all, starting with uh, uh, security and, and designing security, Risk Cloud is, uh, it helps you design ERP security right from the, the, the right way. And it's based on your specific controls and policies. And, and essentially it speeds up uh, implementation uh, because it provides risk analysis right at uh, role setup time. So for example, here is a screenshot of the Fusion Security Console. This is the area in Fusion application where you actually design the roles. As you can see, in the process of either creating or updating a Fusion role, it tells you how uh, whether the role that you're creating or updating has any uh, security uh, risks or SOD risks. Uh, so customers can, you know, uh, you know and, and this way customers are, you know, seeing value right from day one uh, with the ERP implementation process. For example, uh, a major investment bank started using Risk Cloud before they actually went live with uh, cloud financials, and uh, and you know, for many reasons, uh, one key reason being it it uh, took the burden off their application security team. The next area that I wanted to talk about is uh, is uh, SOD or separation of duties. Once live, you can automate SOD reporting for Fusion ERP, and you can easily track issues from to, to closure. Um, and these results, uh, as 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 you can see in this uh, picture of a dashboard, can be shared with each process owner uh, 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 so that they have the latest status on their key SOD policies. And if there are issues, uh, uh, process owners can easily update uh, the, the issues or the, the incidents, and they have all the right context in place uh, so, that, uh, so that they can make a, make a decision very quickly, as you can see in, in the screenshot uh, for, uh, for a particular incident for this particular user, Paul Johnson. Uh, not only can you monitor for potential risk, you can also scan all transactions for actual SOD violations, which of course can be far more serious. And this is a dashboard that shows different transactions that have SOD risk that needs to be uh, evaluated. Access certification is another key area for internal controls over financial reporting, ICFR activity. Uh, this is also baked into ERP with Risk Cloud. And with access certification, not only can you do periodic assessments, but you can do continuous certifications. And uh, this way, any user that gets assigned a sensitive role, you can do the certification right away and you don't have to wait for weeks and months, which obviously is, uh, is suboptimal. Here's a screenshot for what the business process owner would see and all the actions that they can take once a user is assigned a, a, set, a set of sensitive roles. Another area uh, that's important uh, in, in having an effective uh, uh, internal control system is 
monitoring changes to configuration. So you can extend the analysis uh, so that um, uh, you are looking at every change to critical setups, which of course have a pervasive impact on all the transactions. So this is a very important area to keep on uh, keep monitoring. And then, uh, and all the results can be presented again through a very simple dashboard by process so that uh, process owners can evaluate changes and make sure that nothing unexpected is happening within the application. Finally, you can extend that analysis from users to configurations to actually looking at all transactions. You can scan all transactions. There's no sampling required, uh, but you can look at uh, the, the entire population of transactions. And again, you can share those results very easily through a dashboard again, with a focus on the business process so the right folks can act on the results. So this ability to scan uh, all transactions is a huge leap forward. It enables you to monitor millions of data points in a, in a reliable and economical manner. And, and this essentially has a, I would say, a real bottom line impact. Uh, here is an example of uh, True Blue, which is a major staffing company, and they have used Risk Cloud to build a culture of continuous assurance through monitoring. The, the final area of, of Risk Cloud that I want to highlight today is, uh, is uh, managing uh, the risk and controls repository and, uh, and workflows. These are essential building. This is an essential building block to make sure that all the data has the right context and that they could be presented to the, the, the right owners at the, at the right time. And again, this is, a, a, you know, all of these uh, workflows and activities can be tracked with purposely built, purposefully built uh, dashboards that gives you a view of your internal controls, the entire risk and controls matrix with the latest status. So let me, uh, let me summarize the key takeaways for this session. Uh, Risk Cloud uh, provides a, a new, more modern approach to internal controls. Uh, you can activate algorithms or advanced controls across all the major processes in your ERP system. And you can literally select and run these analysis within a matter of minutes. Uh, Risk Cloud is, uh, is designed uh, uh, to connect all the different stakeholders with simple dashboards so that they can monitor both potential as well as actual violations, especially access and SOD violations, by scanning millions of transactions, looking for red flags, and then managing exceptions through simple workflows. And there's also a, 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 a growing community of experts in our Cloud Customer Connect Forum uh, with lots of resources for you to get started. And, uh, and it, you know, the resources take you from the basics to step-by-step -step, uh, implementation details with videos. You can also ask product experts for, for if you have any questions and you can view uh, multiple customer events that, that occur on a, on, a, on a periodic basis. Finally, uh, to learn more about Risk Cloud, uh, Risk Cloud, I would encourage you to check out the following uh, two sessions at Cloud World on uh, Thursday afternoon. Experts from Sketchers, Equinix, and Jackson Live will be presenting uh, their journey and success uh, with, uh, with Risk Cloud. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to engaging with you uh, in the near future. Thank you.